we are Cinderella and poetry is our fairy godmother. She waves her word wand and turns everything beautiful like a gaping wound. Now in truth, the gaping wound is not beautiful. Peel away the poetry and all you have left is jagged, barren, scraped skin, torn flesh, severed veins, and a dysfunctional rawness that cannot bear the exposure. But something about the wording makes it go down your soul like honey. Because poetry is that magician who turns trickery into spell-binding experiences that make away with your breath. She makes glorious sonnets of battlefields, scrapes us off the railway tracks of our worst train wrecks, and spreads us on canvases. And on that day, when you cannot for the life of you figure out how they managed to locate up from down on a sphere rotating at the center of an eternal nothingness. When you cannot bear the next step because it feels as though you are balancing the earth at the palms of your feet and it's lifted the skirt on your clumsy, live that moment. Even when your best intentions and the path mapped out by the compass of your innermost truth looks like scandal, tell shame to unhand you. No more shame, dummies. You should no longer dirty the pockets of your soul with apologies for being how you are. When poetry can swear that every square inch of your disproportion can be narrated into grace, she refuses to allow any of our stories to be finished as ugly, so she dresses us in metaphors and puns, adorns our feet in rhyme schemes and figures of speech, weaves us into prayers until we sound like the crescendo hallelujah at the bridge of the sweetest hymn. She's that alchemist who turns the heaviest lead at the core of us into lightweight golden pencils that sketch beautiful landscapes of us. She dusts and polishes bits of our brokenness until they are beautiful, until they are gleaming jewels that embellish the night sky. She makes our darkness glow like amber. Fills us up with the succulent richness of an artist's hunger. Turns the oceans of bleeding hearts into milk and honey. She nourishes us until every hole that needs filling with ourselves is filled whole. So I'm paying homage to the gods and goddesses of poetry, to the muses, the nine daughters of Zeus, my favorite precious Talia, sweet Erato, and to you, the poet, who calls us back to life from dead wood. Thank you for poetry, because without it, all we be is jagged, barren, scraped skin, torn flesh, severed veins, and a dysfunctional rawness that cannot bear the exposure. But instead, we are made beautiful, like a gaping.